In this episode, I would like us to display the questions on uh, our questions page. So let me just show you what we will be doing. So in our application, we will, um, in the table that we created previously, we will be ensuring that it is populated with the questions that are there in the database. And then after that, we will be able to add some functionality. So under questions, we will be able to display the questions here. And then we'll be able to add some functionality to maybe edit the questions, delete the question, and so on and so forth. So this is the table we are going to do. And the first thing, of course, that we will do, we will go to controllers, uh, question controller. And in our previous tutorial, we were just returning the questions uh, sort of like page. But I want us now to populate it with something because now at least we have something in the database which in this case is uh, related to what we can be able to pass here. We created some questions. So I we just use a variable question, questions, and we are going to use eloquent to be able to fetch. So this one is a question model. And in this case, I want to return uh, the questions and also the answers. The reason why we are returning answers is because we, we, sometimes you might uh, attempt to also edit the answers. So we will be editing questions and sometimes we can also be able to edit the answers. So I will write with answers. Sorry, with answers. And this one you able to create for us uh, sort of like a combined data a question plus its answers and so I say get like that and then now uh, we will display it here so I'll just add a semicolon then we can be able to say uh, questions And this will be having the data from whatever it is that we have above here. So questions. So you pass in this variable here to be able to pass in the questions to the view. So now that we have that, we can go to our question questions.view. And then we can be able to just to work on how we are going to display these questions on our table. And so what I'm going to do, I'm going to define props here. And remember, there is always another way of doing something. So what I'm doing is just what I choose for purposes of maybe showing you something else. Because remember, there is another way in which we were we were getting some of the things, for example, the flash flash messaging, we were getting it in a different way, and this one now we are getting it in a different way. So it doesn't really have an issue. You can always find out which, or decide which way you would want to get some of the things that you have. So I'm going to define a constant called props, and we will use define define props and for us to be able to to use this we can be able now to pass in whatever it is that we are expecting from the server end or the back end and what I want here is uh, questions So inside here we are going to, because there is something that we are expecting with the name questions from our backend and it is an object. So just that. And maybe probably sometimes we might also be encountering errors 
in this in the whole of this page we can also just say errors and then object that is the data type of uh, this errors that we have so that should be that so inside here we will be having all the questions and then I just want us to go ahead and display the questions so that is the next thing that I would like us to do and I think once we are able to display the questions how you stop the tutorial there and then we will continue in our next uh, episode so inside here where we have our table of course we will just have several things in our table I think we can have the question ID and maybe not the question ID just an order just an increment of the questions and then here we can say we have the question in the headers and then after that then we have action so in this action uh, section we will have the delete the edit and maybe the view and then inside here in our table header I want us to for this first one we will have sort of like uh, the ID and then we will continue like that but I want to just do a v loop because we will check inside questions and inside the questions we have something called question so and then we can be able to just work like that so let me have the v loop v4 and just maybe to to show you what we are returning instead of me continuing like that let me just show you so, sort of like the data that you'll be returning this is in the controller I've just said return before the inertia render such that whatever it is that we have fetched from eloquent can be shown to us so when I refresh as you can see this is how our data will be we have question we have ID we have the question created it updated it of course there is some more information here which is not very useful for example created that and updated that we will not be using it anywhere probably in one of the tutorials we will um, be able to remove that but uh, we shall see so let me delete this one and then we check it out so um, so now we refresh again so this is how it is so I'm going to say v4 v4 and in this case I can have it like this question comma index in in questions so we are looping through whatever it is that is being passed in this questions object and we are we are looping through and selecting each value individually and we are setting it to a very vari a variable uh, question and then from there now we can be able to uh, work through when I save this if I go and refresh now you can see even that before we put in our data there is some repetition here so meaning our uh, loop is uh, displaying properly and here because we're just checking the index and when we check the index we it will just be counting our records one two three like that here under the row I want to I want us to just have uh, index but when we just have it as index remember index usually begins at zero whenever we count the values in an array so in this case you have one two zero one two three like that so instead of that and for me i want it to be numbered from one up to four i will just say index plus one like that when i save then you can see the numbering is perfect 
and then uh, for this next value we are going to have the question so here I'm going to say question but it will not just be question like that because question we have everything about a question so it you have the ID it you have the question itself it you have uh, they updated it and created that all that so let me specify that I want the question like that so if your table is exactly as mine then you can find that the questions you display like this and obviously you know why there was a repetition because in our previous tutorial we were able to tackle some of those things so this last table data I do not need it and then this one here I'm going to have some buttons here and I will have three buttons and we are going to have it like this button button like that and the first one let me call it view and then I will just copy maybe I will copy this and paste three times It's a problem with my copying, but it's okay. Like that. So we have uh, three buttons. And the next one, um, I want to call it um, edit. And then the last one, I want to call it delete. Like that. And when we refresh, we have the three buttons somehow represented there. And then obviously, I also want to, to style them a little bit. So we put a bootstrap class here. And I'm going to put a class of BTN for button. And then BTN, maybe this one we can say primary for the first button for viewing and so when we check it it appears like that and then this next one probably we can say class btn btn maybe success we can save it to look like that then finally for the, the one for deletion we will put it with the danger such that when somebody looks at it they must have really decided to do deletion it's not a button that will be clicked oftenly and then btn btn danger like that and so we have successfully been able to display our questions of course we need to have some functionality here that one we are going to do in the next tutorial video thank you very much for following this tutorial video up until this place